Tabingos launches live life came to under scrutiny and in fact it's no longer a speculation because uh, the girl, the ex girlfriend Matitibala laid a complaint in it look uh, laid a complaint that was later transferred into the uh, Randbeck Run Magistrate Court. Upon a closer investigation, the the magistrate or the Randbeck Magistrate Court uh, on the sixth of June, twenty twenty three, found Tembiko Selonji guilty of assaulting their girlfriend with an with an intention to cause a. a uh, badly or harm, harm, boldly, grievous, what? Those English terms that we are about to deal with, but the bottom line is that you he actually, uh, look, ended this woman's life. Now, okay, fast forward, things happened. Typical Solange is found guilty. The problem then started when the Typical Solange was supposed to be sentenced. Um... Since he was found guilty on the, um, or, or I think it was on the 6th of June, I stand under correction, but it was in June. Uh, I think it was found on the 6th of, 6th of June, and then it was, look, was due to be sentenced the following month, which would have been July 2023. Ever since the, the, the July 2023 sentence that we wait for, it has been a postponement after postponement after postponement. Well, probably you asked the question, who are we talking about? Who's Tebiko Solonji? Tebiko Solonji is an Orlando Pirate player, a very creative Orlando Pirate player, one that is loved by a lot of Orlando Pirate fans. He's very good at what he does. Tebiko Solonji, um, I'm not sure, I cannot confirm this, but I know for a fact that um, the last time I checked, he was in a relationship with a woman called, or a lady called, Natasha Tahan. Natasha Tahan, if I'm not mistaken, she is um, a, look, a, a granddaughter of the late Desmond Tutu's child, right? Despite all of that, uh, being married to a high-profile person in society or to a daughter of a man who's, look, who has a high profile in society, Tabakos Launch found himself on the wrong side of the law. But the question is, what happened? How did we came here? How did we arrive in a point where a player has to be sentenced? That is exactly what I'm about to uh, what I'm about to give you that is exactly what i'm about to reveal to you provided that you are interested if you are then please stick around as you stick around there's only one favor that i'm re requesting from you guys and that favor is that you subscribe you like the video and you comment in the comment section below guys men tabanga oh if you think why do you need to do all of this well you need to do it because doing it it does help out a lot when it comes to the youtube algorithm to promote and spread this video to as many people as possible. So definitely, the power is in your hands. The power is in your hands to like the video, take it to 1,000 likes, share this video with as many people as possible, comment in the comment section below, watch this video until the end, ultimately watch the ads. That power is in your hands. I will wish and pray that you exercise it in favor of this video. I'm going to get into this article that seems to summarize, summarize the story for us. This article was released on the 9th of October 2023 by a person by Olo who goes by the name of Olo Kukos. Mutswane. Article goes like this. The ex-girlfriend of Orlando Parrot, a player Tembikosi Launch, alleged she was assaulted twice by him before she went to the police. She continues to say, the name of the person that we are talking about, uh, the lady in question here, she goes by the name Ufundi Swanok Piwa Matitibela, laid bare their relationship in a victim impact statement in the Randbeck um, Magistrate Court, where launch is due to be sentenced. Like I said, the sentencing of Orlando Pirate player, uh, Mr. Tebikosi Launch, it has been one, of, one marked with a lot of mystery. I do remember a fellow content creator even going as, going as far as saying, I do not know what to do or what to say. And I just, I'm confused when it comes to the story of Orlando, look, of Tevi Gosseloj. Is he going to be sentenced or not? That's what we want to know. Let's just bury this story and move on. Then 
Fundiswa uh fundiswa nok pila loko fundiswa nok pivo fundiswa nok piwa matitibela alleged he had moved in with her with the plan of being the look with the plan being they will move when he was ready to buy a house. She claimed she also borrowed him money. Launch was convicted of an assault with an intent to cause a uh, grievous bodily harm la, 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 uh, this year, 2023, right, on June. For a stuckling local beating her on the night of uh, 7th of September, 2020. The relationship started in 2018. When she was renting a two bed, when she was renting a two bedroom apartment in Fendel Runback, and he was renting his, he was renting in Vona Valley in Midrand. In the same year, they decided to move together. But as she, look, as she had more furniture, uh, as he as she had more furniture than than he did, they agreed he should move into her place. They equally contributed towards the rent they cohabitated at her place till he could afford to buy a house. A statement uh, that that was uh, these details are in the statement of this this girl, Nokpiwa uh, Matitibala. Right. In October uh, 2019, he bought a townhouse in Midrand, uh, and his income was increased. Uh, uh, look, was increased at Orlando Pirate. She also borrowed him an amount amounting to 150,000 rand, which he paid towards the house the same month they moved in. In 2020, they decided to start their own family. She felt pregnant, but experienced a miscarriage. Around this time, they, had, uh, uh, they, they have treated each other with respect, uh, with love and respect, that's what the, that's how the statement read. Then, however, he started to have trust issues and will call look will accuse her of cheating. Later on, the statement reads, he will sleep in a separate room. The accused will send her text message informing informing her that he feared he will kill himself. The report, oh, that's how the statement read. She perceived him as a look, as an attempt to threaten and control her. At the time of the uh, look of the last assault, Matitibala and Launch were no longer living together. Please pay attention. She claimed on the day of the assault, she was she was visiting Launch when she look when he he left her at his home to go out with one of his friends. When it was getting late, she messaged or sent a message to him saying, Man, please return my car keys. I want to leave. On arrival, an argument occurred. Lunch became violent. Uh, lunch became violent. Because lunch became violent towards her and accused her of cheating. He pushed her and she fell on the pavement. She look, she had natural hair and pulled her by it. She screamed for help. His friend came to, to came to her rescue. Uh, he didn't show mercy and was proud, telling her to call the police. Titibela said she didn't report the two previous assault as she uh, look as she was uh, protecting his job and uh, reputation. These were not uh, look, uh, uh, these were not as severe as severe as the current incident was. This is a statement. She said she suffered intense emotional mental uh, repercussion. She found it difficult to balance life and couldn't focus at work as she would she would break down. She struggled to sleep and suffered horribly. She constantly questioned herself why Lunch treated her this way and couldn't reconcile with the fact that with the fact of being a victim of gender based gender based violence. Right? Even her hair has become a constant reminder of the ordeal. Because the launch uh, told the court he was willing to uh, look to amend and apologize to Matitibala.
The case was postponed to the 21st of November 2020. Right. The, now, before I give you my two cents comment and commentary, Orlando Pirate being his football club, um, or let's say, Orlando Pirate being an employer of Temigosa Lodge, they, I, I remember reading that statement as well. They released a statement talking about this incident. In the statement, they say, uh, they say, what's the state? Where's the statement now? They say Orlando Pirate in a statement after Temigosa Lodge was found con was, well, was convicted in June. They say the club say. They, look, they held an internal inquiry after the after his arrest and had been uh, he has been fined by the club and had been ordered to undergo anger management therapy. He had completed a prescribed number of sessions. Since then, Mr. Launch has not been involved in any similar incident or an incident involving violence. We are confident that the anger management therapy was an appropriate corrective measure. The club added. Then Orlando Parrot says it will not comment further until the criminal case has been finalized. If I'm not mistaken, I remember vividly this was the statement that they released was look it, it they were they released it as soon as was it in the mid June? I think it was mid June. Uh, just, uh, just a week after Temigo Solonch was found guilty, was ready to be sentenced. Uh Orlando Parrot Football Club released a statement now at first i was a bit shocked by this because obviously in south africa once you get uh once uh, in south africa usually ne, once you get once there's gpv associated with you hey people don't want to do anything with you we saw we saw things like that happening uh, with katla mabe uh, Mabene, I think so. Uh, yeah, and then we saw cases about, about Java and all the stuff. I don't know whether the Orlando Pirate Football Club was kind of like, mm -mm. let us learn our mistakes. Let's not just rush or pe press the button as of yet. Let's not press that. Let's rather keep the man. But also, it is the the postponement for me. I guys, the postponement have been too much. Eh? Uh, if I remember vividly. He was supposed to be sentenced because I was found guilty on the 6th of June. I might be wrong with the dates, but it was on early June. That I know for sure. Then he was due to be sentenced on July. Then as soon as the date came close to, to the sentencing, there was a postponement. And we were like, okay. From there, it was look, the postponement was for the next month, which would have been uh july from july to august from august just when we were closer to his sentencing there was an announcement that this has been postponed from august now to september just as we came closer to his local to his sentencing on september it was announced that it now it will now take place in october uh a few days ago, it was announced, if I'm not mistaken, that it has been postponed again. Now, the sentencing will take place on the 21st of November. I don't know. Usually, when all these things happen, we see people, once they are found guilty, they are sentenced. That's the, the norm or that those are the things that we know. But obviously, we are not experts in this case. Maybe his lawyers are. Maybe his lawyers understand how things are done. You just cannot just surrender. I'm making an example about it. I don't know. But what, we, what I know is that Temiko Selonj's uh, sentencing has been postponed. And I know, I know to be true because it has been confirmed. Whether it's going to be sentenced or not, it remains I wouldn't say it's certain, uh, in certain, it remains unknown to us. I don't know. It's going to be my first time, if ever this will happen in history, uh, in my knowledge, though. Not to say it did ne never happen. I'm just saying in my knowledge. Where a person is pronounced guilty, when he's about to be sentenced, then, um, then that 
mysteriously the decision get reversed usually we see people getting sentenced and once sentenced um then they go and 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 and, and put the decision on subject the decision or appeal maybe the decision get overturned by another court so well, by looking at things in this particular case i don't know whether we are going towards a situation where they are pushing that the same court reverse its decision i don't know because look at the postponement in this right uh i don't know like a lot of things here in this case that are a bit shocking uh considering the norm that we are accustomed to we are accustomed to but again let me say just because something is a norm doesn't necessarily mean it's right so we might be wrong as society to think that just because you are found guilty you therefore surrender and then look appeal to the next court we might be wrong uh we are about to learn that or we, we might see things that we are not supposed we are not you are necessarily accustomed to that is to see a person getting sentenced and then look pronounced guilty by the same court and then the same person uh the, his, like the decision get reversed and is no longer said look is no longer guilty I, i'm not sure what are we gonna see concerning that because it appears like wow tell me because the launch did look as old deal is really different you know what i'm saying here we are talking about a person that is loved if you understand football you will have a high, you will have an appreciation of tabigos launch's ability to play football you know there's no questions about it tabigos launch when he is on form yeah he's gonna carry the team um even when they won the cup that they won where they were playing against against uh Sekukuna united i think yes it was a net bank cup it was Tamikosi Lonchi's intelligence. He just caused the other player to grab the ball and thus a penalty was look, was given to Orlando Parrot and scored that penalty and they won that game. It speaks of this player's uh, influence in the game. So you never underestimate Tamikosi Lonchi's, um you never underestimate Tamikosi Lonchi's ability on the football, on the, on the football pitch. However, outside of football pitch, a lot of things have happened which, which has led us to the position where we are today. A position where we've got to talk about Tamikosi Lonchi committing or attending courts left right and center i will keep you posted as the story keep develop till then please take care